Hi there, welcome to QA Box Let's Test. In this video, we are going to learn how can we handle frames and iframes within Cypress. So, this is the page that looks familiar because I used this page in part 7 of this video series. So, I'm now going to enter data into this field and I'm going to inspect this. Let us check the selector for that. So, this is an input type which has got name is equal to channel name. So, the test case looks something like this. So, we have to visit this page and that is going to return as a document and on the document we are identifying this element using the selector and we are simply typing data into it so let us run this okay so we are not able to identify this element now what is the reason why we were able to enter data in the part 7 or in this field but not in this case the reason is i have embedded this whole document into another document with the help of an iframe. So what happens is when you write cy.visit, you get a document, but now there is another document inside the document. So you have to move to the internal document to be able to get hold of this element, and then you can perform any operation on that. So before we move on, let's understand two concepts. First one is frame. So HTML frames are used to divide browser window into multiple sections where each section can load a separate HTML document. A collection of frames in the browser window is known as frame set. To use frames on a page, we use frame set tag instead of this body tag. So let me just remove these from here and I'm simply going to uncomment this for a minute. All right, and I'm going to save this. Let us check this page now. So you see a divider on this page so you can load one HTML page in here and another in here. So you have successfully divided a whole browser into two sections. The frame set tag defines how to divide the window into two frames and in this particular case I have used the col up column approach. So you can also use the row approach. So if you say rows and you save it each frame is indicated by a frame tag. Now let us add some html pages so now we are going to use these two pages cy get contains dot html and shadow dot html let me save this and go back to the page now you could see that we are able to load both of these documents inside this one single document so the next one is iframe html iframe is used to display a nested web page means a web page within a web page the html iframe tag defines an inline frame and hence it is called as an inline frame so here you could see that i provide this source and that is going to load this particular page so now let us move back to the example that we were looking at all right so we have this let me expand this and now you could see that we have a document right which has got this head and body inside that we have this iframe and which has got this document now the purpose of Using frame and iframe is again pretty much the same, right? So you, you want to encapsulate things. You don't want to leak, uh, you know, certain styles and scripts from one document to another document. We also talked about shadow DOM in the previous video. There also we achieved the in, uh, encapsulation. The frame also provides you the same features. Okay. Now, if I have to find this element, I have to move from the main document element uh, within this document element to be able to access the fields within this section okay all right so if you expand this you have got this head and body in here and inside that you have this div id and then you have got your fields all right so this is the field in which we have to enter the data okay so now how i'm going to do that so essentially there are two ways to do that we can either do it using the javascript or we can do it using the jquery so let's see both of the options so how i'm going to find that so the first thing is we have to find the main document so this is how we are going to find the main document then we have to identify the frame and we are going to say get element by id and i've already created an id attribute for that frame so i'm going to use that so we have this id my frame okay so this is going to give me that web element now with the help of content document i'm going to fetch the 
document within this iframe the content document property returns the document object generated by a frame or iframe element this property can be used in the host window to access the document object that belongs to a frame or iframe element important to note is because of security reasons the contents of a document can be accessed from another document only if the two documents are located in the same domain so let's use that property content document let's see what it is going to return us so we get this iframe document now okay now we have to just identify the element and the way we are going to do that is we are going to use the query selector or get element by id whatever works in our case we're going to say query selector and here in we pass this value right let's pass him in here okay so now we have to set the value so we say value equal to and let's set some value if i say qa box we hit enter and now you see the value is being entered so this is the first way now let us see how are we going to do this using the jquery way so this page does not have support for jquery yet so i have to inject the jquery apis in here and to do so i have to use the code uh, when i'm going to create an element script and in that i'm going to set the source to this jquery library and then i'm going to you know, append this to the head section all right let's hit enter so now this website has got access to jquery apis now the way we are going to set the value using jquery is we are going to use this selector symbol and we are going to use a selector in here and the selector is iframe and the id is my frame all right this is how i'm going to find that now the next is i have to use a method which is content so given a jquery object that represents a set of dom elements the content methods allow us to search through the immediate children of these elements in the dom tree and construct a new jquery object from the matching elements the contents and children methods are similar except that the former includes text nodes and comment nodes as well as html elements in the resulting jquery object so once we get this we have to now find our element and the way we are going to do this is using the find method and in here we are going to again pass in the selector and the selector is input and then we have to pass in the attribute things in here let us uh, quickly pass that and then to set the value of uh, input element of type text we have to use the method val and we are going to say uh, now this time let's say qa box only let me hit enter and you see that value is being entered in here okay so we have seen how to identify elements within these frames using both jquery and javascript ways so if these two things are clear to you we are going to use these in our following test cases so we are going to work on this website so let's click on this frames and we have got these two examples let us open both of these so this is the iframe example let us inspect this section so i want to enter data in here all right and you see this document means there is an there is a frame or enabled on this website so we have to first identify that frame and then we get access to this document and then we are going to find our element right and the other one is this so these are all the different frames right you see the web page is divided into different sections and then we are going to write an assertion to check this text all right so let us look at our code so the first way is we are going to type in the body and uh, we are going to use the javascript way so we are going to first identify the the frame and let us check this out so we have got this id for this iframe right right so we are fetching that 
and then we are using the within method so within this iframe we have our element with which we want to interact so we are using within in here and then with the help of get method we check that in the previous video as well we are going to get the element of anyways and if, uh, there would be only one uh, frame in here i'm going to fetch that and again it's pretty much same now so we're going to use a content body and then uh, you can use body or you can leave this part right because now when you have the document and with the help of this you're going to find everything within that and then pretty simple we are going to set the text content all right so let me run this and see what is going to happen all right so we are able to enter our text in here great so now let's do the same using the jquery way so again very simple right we are going to identify that frame and then we are going to use this content method and we are going to find an element within the document and you know we are going to then type into it but there is one more thing that we have to do in here which is wrap so cy dot wrap wraps elements to continue executing cypress command so this thing what you are seeing in here is the jquery element but if you want to use cypress commands you have to first convert this jquery element into the cypress uh, object so that you can write those cypress commands so you're going to wrap this body in cy.wrap and then you have got access to these commands from Cypress. All right, simple. Let us run this. All right, so we are able to enter our text in here. Great. Now let's work on the frames. Okay, so let's open this page first and understand this. So we have got this right let me inspect this so what do we have in here so as i mentioned instead of body you have frame sets so you have this frame set in here and inside that you have these two frames right because you are dividing the whole page on the basis of rows 50 percent and 50 percent to both so this is going to give us that frame now we have to identify this text in here so we are in here all right now we have to find this frame first okay so the way we are going to do that is we are going to find the body and then get element by tag name and this this one right so the tag name is frame and uh, it, the index starts from zero so one will give us this particular thing right so let me expand this now you have got this uh, document available to you and for that you have to use this content document again and then you're going to say body and query selector and then you're going to identify this particular element so this div just got this id content right and then you're fetching the text of it using the inner text property and you're saving that into a text and then you're simply asserting your text value all right let us run this Right, so it is being passed uh, just to check it whether it is correct or not. So let us try to fail this. Right, so it is being failed, so which means that it is working. Now let us do it using the jQuery way. And the way you are going to do that is again you are going to find that, and within that frame again you are what you are doing is you are wrapping that so that you can use the uh, jQuery commands in here. Right, so you finding the contents and you're finding that the middle frame on which uh, your element exists and within that frame again you have done this uh, content thing you're using find and then you're checking that that particular element should have this text middle right so the concept is pretty much the same let us run this all right so this has worked i hope you you like the concept and the content thank you